Everybody, welcome back to another install video. We are going to go ahead and put the catch oil catch can on. Um, it's going to be super easy to do. We're going to route it underneath the fender, close to the bumper, because of the style that the catch can is. It has a drain underneath, so it doesn't un unscrew, so you can drain the oil out. So we wanted to make sure that it's accessible and easy to get to. Now, from my research, the catch can itself is probably between $10 and $100. You guys take your guess on how much this thing is. For me, it was free, so, and I like free things. Uh, it may I think I got fail, that. it may not work. It, these might, up, might we'll have up. to upgrade to a better one. But where I'm gonna put it, I really like the location. It's out of the way, it's hidden, it's not, I mean, I, I won't drive in the winter with it. This winter, this winter, it's not gonna get driven because, well, there's gonna be two engines getting pulled out. The RX, RX-8 engine needs pulled out so I can go through that, see what I need to do to that. But this one, I need to freshen up, you know, take it apart, clean off all the oil. So it's either oil pan is leaking back here or it's from the power steering fluid dripping down which is a very good possibility the catch can if you can see or not I'll have a light when I go to install it so you can see it better but basically it's just gonna mount right here you can get to the drain hole or bolt drain it out and then all the lines are basically gonna go up follow this part and go back inside here we're gonna take the headlight off the bumper off we'll get this hood pops so you can take a look take a look at my dirty engine I got a few clamps so I got these clamps for to go on the catch can oh and here's this nice steel braided line got this off Amazon it's just black your black stainless steel braided line 3 8 by 10 foot long is what I ordered and I think I would paid like 30 bucks for it we're gonna go ahead and dive into this get this all the parts taken off so you, we can uh, get the catch can on and knock this out see you in a minute also if, I don't know if you noticed but I have a sweet, awesome shirt that was made by two awesome ladies. Build it, break it, upgrade it. So this kind of goes with the catch can. It's cheap, so we're going to build it. And if it breaks, we'll upgrade it. I want 20 people to subscribe on this video. And if I want you to subscribe and comment. And even the prior subscribers, you can comment too. But once I hit 20 more subscribers, yeah, 20 more subscribers. I'm going to give a shirt away. I don't even care. I'm going to give a shirt away. If you like this shirt, maybe I'll come up with something new. Keep this surprise. Uh, comment. Got a comment. And subscribe. Don't forget that. And like this video too. All right, let's dive into this. Okay, so we got we got the bumper off the light out of the way so we can go ahead and tie in this oil catch can but basically we're gonna if you can see it or not i hope you can i'm gonna try to get this light down there we're gonna tie one line in to the pvc valve one line in into the intake my thought is that it will stop more oil at this part and in your intake than it will over there uh if you disagree let me know comment so let's get some lines cut well actually we're gonna go ahead and mount the catch can first and that way we know how where to run the lines and all that bs so pretty much it's just going to get mounted right on here oh yeah we like that cool beans
we're in the the line up through here we're going to zip tie everything together this is actually for a light we want to make sure that's free right here okay these two are for your light you don't want to get zip tied into those so you have an air power steering line for your reservoir right there so we're just basically going to zip tie those two together and go keep it as close to this wall as we can and then pop it back in which should be right about there and we're going to cut it all right using actual snips would work a lot better than that but hey it works so we're going to go ahead and tie it um secure this on down in here to make sure because the other one we're going to go on top tighten it down and then we'll pre repeat for uh, the other one all right so let's repeat for this line Basically everything's all tidied up, everything's tightened down. Show one there, one there. Where's my other one? Oh no. I believe you go here. And then you go here. Wow, this car is really dirty. I definitely want to get this engine out so I can pressure wash the whole thing. got the oil catch can on it's mounted hidden away out of the way there is not a lot of room for a lot of a lot of things well i mean there's a big room right there for a turbo uh i guess you could put the oil catch can back there but down in there unless i relocate this battery but if i put a turbo there i might have to relocate the battery anyways so i'm gonna go there anyways the way i have my pumper set up it's easy to pop on and off i actually gonna get the pieces here that will help hold that together better and hopefully I don't have this issue that I had this morning hey I love these freaking wheels nicest thing on the car so far but hey thanks for joining me today and in installing this catch can uh, hit that like button and subscribe and stuff remember I know it's a little dirty now but you want a shirt you gotta subscribe 20 subscribers I just want to hit 50 subscribers I hit 50 subscribers you comment you subscribe you say like I subscribe or something like that I don't really care what you say. Just subscribe and comment. I will do a drawing. I'll figure out how to do the drawing so that way it's not rigged. Because you always wonder if they're rigged or not. They, it won't be rigged. I'll figure it out. If I got to put everything in a freaking hat and then do a video of pulling it out and then you want a shirt, you're going to get a shirt. It may be this shirt. I may make and have her make a new one. That's a surprise. Hey, let's have some fun and win some stuff and keep playing with this thing. We're going to definitely have to get this cleaned up, but 
I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Say peace.